um, I want to make tortillas from scratch. I know the process, everybody does it differently. I've got a, a recipe given to me by my cousin that my grandma used to make. And of course, nobody measures. It's just get a cereal bowl full of this and a, you know, it's just the, the directions are very vague. All right, let's go do this. Two hours later. I think we got everything we need. <laughs> I always get a bunch of little things like the little towel and the tortilla warmer and the, I got a rolling pin. I've never had a rolling pin. So it's nice to be able to come to market, get those little things. I'm just gonna make tacos and quesadillas. Um, I got the, they did have the, the masa, but for the corn, already kind of done. So um, we're gonna make some corn tortillas with that. And then we're gonna do some flour tortillas from scratch. Um, a lot of recipes out there. So I'm just gonna wing it. And we're just gonna have some fun with it. So uh, let's go see what we can, let's go have some fun. Me and Sunny are going to make tortillas from scratch. So the first thing the ingredients called for was flour, three cups of flour. We're just gonna put this in, in a bigger bowl here. Just wanna show you what three cups of flour looks like. Fast three cups, thank you for your help. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Yeah, go ahead. Two tablespoons. Ah, you missed it. And two tablespoons of salt. So let me show you how to mix this. I'm just gonna get it from the side. You can turn the bowl a little bit. Just kinda get it stir about. You don't wanna get it everywhere. So now we're gonna add the shortening. Yes, a little bit. Um, lard. Yeah, lard. Yeah, so, lard. so believe it or not, this is my first time cooking with lard. I've never, you know, I'm just gonna use my hands. Once it gets crumbly, we have to add the water, and I'll let you add the water, okay? Yay! Yeah. All right. So Perfect. I can feel it now. It's starting to all kind of come together. Maybe okay, you wanna do me a favor? Why don't you add in the water? Okay, go ahead and add it in. Just a little. Oh, I'll say just a little bit. But. It's okay. My grandma used to make great tortillas. Great, better than your grandma, I think. I, I don't think any of your, I've ever had your, any of your grandmas make tortillas. This is dough, we're, we're getting somewhere now. All right, so now that we've got it, our, our dough all kind of kneaded up, it's mixed, it's good to go. We're gonna let it sit for about an hour. We're just gonna cover it with a dish towel and wait. Wait. One hour later. All right, the fun part. So we get to take our, our dough out, flour our area. Go ahead. Yeah. There you go. You don't want nothing sticking. Get it all in there. Turn the bowl and I'm gonna grab. This part I don't know about. I don't know how big the ball should be. So I'm just gonna guess it here. I think should we use the press instead of the instead of rolling them? It's kinda like making a meatball for our cookies, right Dad? Just Pretty one. much. I don't know. I'm not much of a baker. Is that good? I think that's a good size. Never rolled anything. Oh, look at that. It looks like Batman or something. That looks great. What a good job. Let's try this thing. Push that down. Boop. Hey, it's a tortilla. Da -da -da. I think I'm going to use this thing. All right. I don't know what that whole thing was about grandma used to do, but I'm going to use the machine for the other ones. The Makina. Can I use the monkey on this one? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's what it's actually called. Okay, you put that in there. Pop it on there. Pat it down. And then you push this over there. And then push it down as hard as you can. Wow, look at that one! <laughs> this is fun. I am really enjoying this. Yeah, let's keep doing this. Let's keep We're gonna put this one right on the grill. Right on the grill. Looks good. Looks great. Let's do more. We'll do more and then we'll eat.
make a real basic one here for you guys. Because I'm hungry. Also picked up the pico de gallo, guacamole. And they also make um, rice. Rice, beans, stuff like that. So I picked up some rice. I like more crunch, so I'm gonna actually use uh, cabbage. All right, just a little bit of cheese. Oh, look at that. Hmm. It's amazing what a difference the tortilla makes in a taco. Everything, all the flavors and taste, the, the textures, it all revolves around that tortilla. This is it, I can't go back now to doing it, having tacos any other way.